Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. I'm trying to make this one quick. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that are 3D modeling are trying to find an easy way to animate a mouth and lip sync it to uh, an audio file. Um, this will kind of show you just a quick and dirty way of doing that. This isn't going to be perfect, but maybe like season one South Park perfect, um, where we just basically have a mouth moving um, to audio. So I'm going to show you kind of the basics to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create just a disk for now. Set it to the um, on the X orientation here, and I'm going to scale it down. All right. I'm going to give it just like an all black material, and you'll notice my material doesn't have any reflectance whatsoever on it. Um, so what we got to do first is make this editable so that we can add our pose morph character tag to it and if we click on points we're gonna have a base pose here that um, we can start to animate now if you wanna do this the right way um, you wanna make sure that you actually uh, before you add that tag that you make this mouth so that it's closed something like that so I didn't do that right correctly the first my first effort there but now I'm ready to go ahead and at, go into points mode and now that that's selected we can just open that mouth back up and if we go into animate we see that we've made a very basic opening um, disc that's gonna represent our mouth next uh, we're gonna add the sound effector which is going to pull in a very basic simple audio track that I just created in logic called mouth clip and so that's the basic clip and it should be working for you um, make sure that scrub sound is on and yeah, so we have everything we need in our project, and now we need to go into Espresso to link this all up. So I'm going to put an Espresso tag on my um, on my disk here, and the first thing we need to do is drag in our sound effector. Um, that's going to be our first place we're going to start from, and then we're going to add a um, add the object here at outport. Um, and then we need to create a new node um, under motion graphics called just sample and this is going to be how we port this thing over to our um, over to our pose morph tag which we need to then grab and drag in here okay so so far pretty basic all we need to do is grab the object and drag it to the effector on the sample, we need to just have a strength. And then on our pose morph, um, we basically just need to create that property that we're using to open and close the mouth, which is on the under tag properties, and it's just the pose strength. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drag strength to pose strength. And I should be good. Now if I hit play, Now you'll notice I don't have, I only have that one pose, so it's a little bit limited. Um, if I was to go in here and create a second pose, I'd show you. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's say I wanted to add another pose here. Um, so I'm gonna add pose, and I'm gonna make this be like the tightening of the mouth. Right? Now let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't work. So. It's a little bit limited in what you can do, um, but <laughs> the gist of it is, is oh, I screwed something up. I'm gonna fix this real quick. Hold on. Hey, how's it going? This is Jess. Okay, we're back. So, you know, you can imagine creating something like a, you know, a very basic face here 
as wonderfully basic that uh, South Park creates their characters and slap his mouth on there and you could be uh, you could be having an animated face in no time so let's see what ours looks like here Something like that, very basic. Hey, how's it going? This is a test of the mouth on Simple 4 So, hey, how's it going? anyway, this just to give you an idea of how to get started with pose morphs and sound effectors, um, and to make a very basic mouth move to sound effects uh, and have them lip synced. So, I hope you found this useful. I hope uh, maybe it's something you can use in some basic animations you have. But uh, stay tuned for more complex tutorials on how to use the mouth.